What's good? It's your boy, Czar All Rights Reserved. Do not be alarmed. I got more coming. And they keep doing this weird stuff where they're giving me the messages now. I don't know. They're doing too much. That's why I'm really about to get spiritual on them. I'm about to take it to another level of spiritualism when dealing with this type of thing because they already dox me. All right. They already made it so that certain narratives came up a certain way. I got other topics I'm about to do. Matter of fact, I'm breaking into one right now. That's how real we do it here. Now, I was checking out some information regarding what happened, and I saw that people confessed to the Kanika Jenkins one. Also, I saw another YouTuber doing a story that was very similar, but he was mentioning a rapper's daughter that has not been found as of yet. That's very interesting to see what's going on. And I agree. Um, how was this ruled a suicide? And there's no, like, there's nobody, there's no info whatsoever, but it was ruled suicide. That's very interesting. I've, yo, stuff that happened in court, I ain't never seen before is happening right now. They declared it a suicide with nobody to even tell if it was suicide. Now, on one hand, I get it. It's because of where you said the body fell at. Number two, I would think divers would have been out there the next few days instantly. I've never seen such a slow reaction. Now we got another case coming up and it's very similar having to do with a young girl. And it's sort of like a domestic situation. By that, I mean, it's not a popular area. So a lot of people aren't talking about it yet, but there's many different cases we're about to go over. To add strength to what it is I'm aiming at. That's just my intro to you on where we're headed. I'm not worried about that now. She knows where she's going. She knows what's up. They could play that stupid game. I already know it. But I'm about to hurt you one better. In the name of Jesus, I'm about to help you. Feel me? Now, something that's very interesting. The officer supposed to testify. Different things happen. Do you not see... Can you not see, and this is why they're mad. Can you not see the courts are following my lead? For real? You don't see that. They literally are doing as the commander's instructing. Okay? And you don't like it. That's why they don't want, yo. <laughs> they really don't want me to narrate it this way. So let me help you. Since you want to do all this weird stuff, Cleo, where's your tax forms? How about your tax forms need to be produced? How about you need to show us your taxes you paid on the houses you have? How about that? Let that come up in court next. Judge, bring that up next. She has yet to produce the documents. There you go, Cleo. You wanted it? There you go. And now, let me get on to this thing I'm trying to do. Because that's what they really... Like, oh, they're so mad. She doing really petty things with technical. Just stop it. There you go. And I'm going to say more if you play. And trust me, what I'm going to say. I already told you the one thing I'm not saying that they really want me to say. But what I'm going to say after that, you talking about bad business. It will be all the way dirty if I do. Keep playing. I told you to chill. That's your last warning right there. Because I will really make them investigate you. I'll make them unearth your whole company in every other company you had. It's about four or five of them. We talked about them earlier. I got the documents for them now. We're... Stop. Don't do it. The courts do what I'm talking about. I promise you. Matter of fact, they might want to go check it out anyway. What type of job you had? Come on, let's get into it. Now, there has been a string of incidents occurring where we're finding young children are disappearing within these communities that are settlements such as Amish settlements, okay? It came out in the news once or twice, but it hasn't been talked about much. These are incidents occurring. Now, the question is, is this by incident? Is it by purpose? Because 
something happens, they disappear and they're on a settlement. So it's more like they're in the middle of nowhere. So there's not much attention gained on it. That's why I was really interested in what this YouTuber was talking about because I wanted to see where the girl was. So I see she was from the city, but her college is kind of out there in the boonies, respectfully. Now, thinking about how this is working, keep in mind things I talked about earlier, okay? Earlier in this whole entire YouTube thing, I told you there was an instance of a lot of different kids being wrapped up in different cliques, being set up by that clique, and it was for the purpose of serving them on a platter, dealing with an industry around the industry. And I hinted to you that there was a celebrity factor housing this entire production of events. By that, I meant that there is a celebrity ownership to the places where this stuff is happening. It's not by chance, okay? Now, I'm not going to tell you the celebrity as, trust me, they're all here anyway. Don't matter. But I am going to ask you, who do you think it may be? Because a lot of times y'all name the more prominent ones. You got to understand that there are still obligations owed to be fulfilled by some of your past celebrities that you love and enjoy, okay? There's your only hint, okay? Some of your past celebrities you love and enjoy, they still owe a debt. And there's ways they try to get out of that debt. But by the good grace of God, they are being stopped from accomplishing these things, okay? And it's to their own detriment if they would do it anyway. But there is now a new thing I'm starting to see trending, okay? So at first, when we were interpret and look into these things, we're like, oh, that was his nephew. Oh, that was his cousin. Oh, that was his brother. There's a new thing where they're finding the power to do it by approaching or targeting fans. So I want to say this to all the fans of favorite rappers. I know you want to contact them at no, at any length, at any cost. Be careful because when you're doing that, you're really opening yourself up to being a target by some of these artists because they owe a lot, okay? They have a lot of obligations to fulfill. When I say a lot, I mean a lot, okay? So they have to find new ways to satisfy this. And by satisfy, I mean they have to hold up their end of the bargain. Being very careful with my word choice. Now, holding up this end of the bargain, sometimes it doesn't pay because family be on to them. They be like, nah, something ain't right. So now they got to figure out another way. So another loop they have is someone with great admiration and faith within an artist. They seem to find it eligible to get rid of them to no detriment to their own case of being able to have no one close around them to do with that brings me back if okay if this is what I'm being told and this is true look at the situations we see happening do you believe that the celebrities associated are involved in some type of game? Let me not say game, some type of crime where they're offering this for that and that for that. Now, do not be deceived. There are a lot of different people, even YouTubers that are trying to tag themselves to people and put them in compromised situations. That's why I told you, be with the most high or don't, yo. Be with the, because a lot of times people are like, I don't fear no God. I ain't scared of no God. Don't be, because your God's going to offer you up. And by that, I mean, if you side with evil, that will be your outcome. You can hide for, yo, 
Some of these guys hide for decades from the own evil that they ask for their success. But at the same detriment, when you pay the piper, which is what you will do because you sacrifice everything to have what you have now, it will not be pretty. You will see that my God is not mocked. Let me say it again. You will see that my God is not mocked. Okay, I'm going to tell you off the rip. Just like that. Funny, you know off the rip, RIP, it's the same thing. Off the rip, you are going to see that my God is not mocked. I don't care how much protection, how many people, how many evil prayers, how many, like, how many different spells of protection you my God is not mocked at all, at all, at all. And like I say, God is good, yo. Keep in mind, everything around you, power and influence, it may seem like everything. But believe it or not, some people you're looking at health wise, health wise are on their last leg because of how they live their life. They've gotten many chances at life because they've got an opportunity to heal things, to fix things. Fixing and healing can only go so far when you don't believe in the true and living most high. He will allow you to do it. That's how merciful he is. He knows you're an enemy. He still allows you to fix yourself. But when that bell strikes and it's time, it is time. Thus saith the Lord. Get that. And I say that to everyone looking to come up. Be very careful who you give your power to. Be very careful who you pledge your allegiance to. This is my last warning on that. Because I see a lot of YouTubers picked up allegiances. I feel bad for some of y'all. Not for all of y'all. For some of y'all I do. A lot of y'all sold out everything just to be connected to some type of notoriety. And you notice if you look at what you're doing, you ain't got nothing. Never had a concept, never pushed it to a level. You ain't got to get a billion views. Heck, I barely was trying to hit a million. You ain't got to try. And that was after they doxed me. Get it? Get that? After they doxed me. Was I don't make no allegiances with no devils. I make no allegiance with demons. In Jesus name, if I'm connected to anyone that reps that, that secretly plays in a closet, that gets down on their knees, praying to and Jesus, cut them off from me right now. OK, that's how real it is. That's how real it is. And I'm telling you, I talk, yo, I talk. I know how real it is. A lot of guys still don't know how real this game is like that. It's like that. It's like that. And I told you I'm with the most high. That's point blank, period. That's how we moving. And just to finish up, a lot of you saying, oh, he erased the video. Put it this way. The devil's a coward. He likes to play little games and little things and be funny with what you're doing. And I seen it on the video. That's why I said to myself, let me double down on what I believe in, which is the most high. And let them know where I stand. And that is what I'm doing with this right here. I double down in that. I do not roll with the funny stuff. I'm not, yo, whatever the, they were doing. And I'm going to just leave it very blatant like that. Whatever they're doing, I rebuke you. I rebuke you. In the name of the most high God, I rebuke you. Because some of you do these funny things. You have all this stuff happening for you, but it's at the detriment of your soul. So you don't even care. You never care. It sounds good to say I sold out. I sell, I sell out. I sold. It sounds so good, don't it? Till they close their eyes for the last time. That's when it's not funny anymore. It sounds so good. Like, ooh, like that's so cool. Like till they really close their eyes and they realize that they already made that deal and they got what they got from it you guys ever noticed that i could show you some things i want you 
just a test. Follow up on some of the people that you know or think have sold out and look at what has happened to them. Look at all they've been through and what has happened. Some of them, nothing. Some of them, everything. But ask yourself this question, heaven or hell, where's his soul? Because that lives forever. You could, oh my gosh, you could do a million things. That lives forever. The book, <laughs> go check the book of Joshua. Judges, does it not live forever? It's not if you aspire to it. You don't believe in it? Don't believe. Don't believe. Don't. Don't. But when you close your eyes for that final time, don't ask for forgiveness. Don't don't wait till then. Don't cry. Don't kick then. Don't say, oh, please, I didn't know. I I thought, I thought I read what I read, I interpreted. Don't do none of that. Just know where you go. Okay? That's very important. Yo, I'm telling you, your hardest, smartest guys are gonna be like, well, God, I didn't know. Well, this scripture was, I I thought it was this. But it's what you taught to others while you lived. It's the evil you spoke out your mouth while you breathed. So when that's gone, everything's gone. Your soul, everything. And it's eternal. Can you, somebody explain to me what eternal means? What is eternity? What is an eternity? Never ending, right? So it's not, oh, 50 years, 40 years, 30 years. It's forever. Are you on the right side? Are you on the right side? I bless this message in the name of Jesus. Everyone have a good day. All rights reserved.